Here are three evidence-backed ways to lose cortisol belly fat. The good news is each of these strategies will reinforce one another. The first is reducing your stress levels and bringing that down. Now, easier said than done, I know, but I think if you can focus particularly on designing a relaxing wind down routine, that's really gonna set you up for success. My favorite is candlelight at night, a hot shower or bath about an hour before bedtime, that really does it for me, but there's lots of ways of doing it that work for you. Second is prioritize getting enough sleep and not just enough sleep, but at the right time when you're not stressing out your body. Again, easier said than done, especially if you're stressed and there's a lot going on, but getting enough sleep is gonna be the foundation to losing that belly fat and keeping those cortisol levels regulated. The third piece is you gotta make time to move a little bit. And if you can move while being outside, even better. And that exercise and movement is gonna help with the weight loss. The sunlight also is gonna help with the stress reduction. It's gonna help with the sleep. And those things are all gonna to work together on your behalf. If this just kind of feels overwhelming, you should give Rise a try. It's in the app stores. You can try it for free. We're actually gonna start with helping you organize a relaxing wind down and pair that with some relaxation guides so you can find the right technique that works for you. On the sleep side, the app is gonna help you track if you're getting enough sleep and it's gonna help you track if you're getting at the right time with something called a melatonin window that's unique to you. And lastly, the app is gonna keep track of those workouts and show you when they happen, how it's impacting your energy levels and what times you might wanna be sleeping. So give it a shot. I can guarantee that losing that belly fat is gonna be way easier if your stress levels are lower and you've got lower sleep debt.